Welcome back to Beginners Corner at Nerds Horizon Online. Today's subject is Microbiology. We ensure a complete revision in 15 minutes. Our channel is Nerds Horizon. Stay tuned for 15 minutes. So, let us discuss the most important topics and the questions at a glance. Question number 1. Who is the father of antiseptic surgery? And the options are Robert Koch, Louis Pasteur, Joseph Lister and Paul Elric. And the answer is Option C. Joseph Lister. Let us discuss the famous personalities in the subject of microbiology. Father of bacteriology is Robert Koch. Father of microbiology is Louis Pasteur. He is the person who coined the term vaccine. Father of chemotherapy is Paul Elric. In this, the most important question is Father of microbiology is Louis Pasteur. Question number 2. Which of the following method is used for sterilization of delicate instruments? And the options are formaldehyde, glutaraldehyde, hotaroven, and autoclaving. And the answer is option B glutaraldehyde. Let us discuss the sterilization materials and the methods. Hotaroven is used for sterilizing glasswares especially the syringes and the test tubes. Autoclaving method is used for sterilizing gloves, catheter and surgical instruments. 5% cresol is used for sterilizing sharp instruments whereas the delicate instruments such as endoscopes and other things are sterilized by glutaraldehyde. Now, Formaldehyde gas is used for sterilizing the operation theaters. Now, incineration method is used for infective materials such as soiled dressings and other things. Pasteurization is used for sterilizing milk. Gamma radiation and ethylene oxide is used for sterilizing the disposable syringes. So, please remember. The most important question is disposable syringes are sterilized by gamma radiation or ethylene oxide. Question number 4. Lawless serum slop is used for the culture of and the options are Salmonella, then Coronibacterium diphtheriae, Vibrio cholerae and Neisseria. And the answer is Coronibacterium diphtheriae. So the culture media and the microbes. Chocolate agar is used for culturing Neisseria. Loafler's serum slop is used for culturing coronary bacterium diphtheriae. McCongie's medium is used for culturing the gram negative bacilli and the bile salt agar again with alkaline pepton water also used for culturing Vibrio cholerae. So, in this slide, the most important question is McConkey's medium is used for culturing the gram negative bacilli. Question number 5 Clinical or subclinical infection results in which of the following type of immunity? Options are passive natural immunity, active natural immunity, active artificial immunity, and the passive artificial immunity and the answer is active natural immunity let us discuss the classification of immunity it's of two types innate and acquired immunity acquired immunity is again divided into naturally acquired immunity and artificially acquired immunity now naturally and artificial both are again divided into passive and active let us remember through some codes passive natural immunity we are getting passively natural immunity through the maternal or through the placenta now actively natural acquired immunity we are getting through certain after getting exposure to certain infections such as smallpox or chickenpox etc now 
passive artificial immunity is getting through direct introduction of certain antibodies and active artificial immunity is getting through immunization especially through the vaccines question number 6 immunity mediated through the development of t lymphocytes are humoral immunity cell mediated immunity innate immunity and the herd immunity answer is cell mediated immunity we already discussed the classification of immunity that is into two types innate and the acquired immunity however the present question was related to cell mediated and humoral immunity so please remember humoral immunity is acquired through b lymphocytes so the code is humoral b cells hb and the cell mediated immunity is acquired through t lymphocytes and the code is cell mediated t cells the code is ct so remember hb and ct for getting this answer question number 7 anaphylactic reactions are example of which of the following hypersensitivity reactions and the options are type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 hypersensitivity and the answer is type 1 hypersensitivity let us discuss the types of hypersensitivity reaction type 1 hypersensitivity is the immediate one in which ige antibody is involved type 2 is cytotoxic type 3 is immune complex type 4 is delayed so in this slide most important question is ige immunoglobulin is involved in type 1 hypersensitivity reaction which is an immediate response however type 4 hypersensitivity reaction is a delayed response now let us discuss some of the examples of type 1 most commonly coming questions are anaphylactic reactions and atopic dermatitis are examples of of course the answer is type 1 now along with this allergic asthma and urticaria also an example of type 1 hypersensitivity next rheumatic fever and thrombocytopenia these are the examples of type 2 hypersensitivity reactions next is another important question arthur's reaction is an example of which of the following hypersensitivity reaction answer is type 3 along with this serum sickness lupus and rheumatoid arthritis also are are the examples of type 3 now contact dermatitis and tuberculin reaction these are delayed reactions these again example of type 4 so type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 hypersensitivity reactions summary type 1 example anaphylactics and atopic dermatitis type 3 arthur's reaction type 4 contact dermatitis question number 8 the first immunoglobulin that appear in response to an antigen exposure is and the options are igg iga igm and igd and the answer is igm let's have a quick review of immunoglobulins it's of majorly five types igg iga igm igd and ige the code is gamde g a m d e igg is the major immunoglobulin which is present in a maximum concentration in our body which crosses the placenta iga is present in milk saliva and tears igm is the immunoglobulin that appears presently first in response to any antigen or in case of any infection ige is responsible for type 1 hypersensitivity reaction so remember three major questions that is related to immunoglobulin number 1 immunoglobulin that crosses the placenta 
answer is IgG the number one G now immunoglobulin responsible for hypersensitivity especially type 1 reaction is IgE the last one now the middle one IgM is the immunoglobulin which is present initially in response to any antigen there are Question number 9. Syphilis is caused by which of the following microorganism? And the options are Ersinia pestis, Trypanoma pallidum, Rubella and Rubiola. And the answer is Trypanoma pallidum. Here we have the major diseases and the causative organisms. Typhoid is caused by Salmonella typhi. Pertosis is caused by Bortella pertosis. Diphtheria is caused by coronary bacterium diphtheriae. Cholera is caused by Vibrio cholerae. Tuberculosis is caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Herpes infections are caused by herpes zoster. Leprosy is caused by Mycobacterium leprae. Anthrax is caused by Bacillus anthracis. And gonorrhea is caused by Neisseria gonorrhea. So it's very easy to remember their names because the second word indicates the disease however in this we need to remember by our own way plague is caused by Ersinia pestis syphilis is caused by trypanoma pallidum measles is caused by rubiola virus german measles is caused by rubella virus chickenpox is caused by varicella zoster and the gas gangrene is caused by Clostridium perfringens. Question number 10. Schick test is used for diagnosing which of the following disease condition? And the options are typhoid, diphtheria, syphilis and enteric fever. And the answer is Schick test is for diphtheria. We have certain diagnostic tests and the disease conditions. Vidal is used for typhoid, Schick test is for diphtheria, ELISA is for HIV, Western blood test is for HIV as a confirmatory, VDRL test for syphilis, AFB acid fast basile is used for tuberculosis and DIC test is used for scarlet fever. In this slide a rare question is DIC test is used for detecting scarlet fever. Let us discuss certain diagnostic tests that is applicable in microbiology. CA125 is for detecting ovarian carcinoma. Carcino embryonic antigen CEA is for colorectal carcinoma. C-reactive protein is indicated in inflammatory conditions, example rheumatic fever. Now gamma glutamyl transferase GGT is for detecting hepatobiliary disease especially client with alcoholism now glucose tolerance test is used for detecting the severity of diabetic mellitus now anti streptolysin o antibody test is used for detecting rheumatic fever and ana test that is anti nuclear antibody test these are used for detecting systemic lupus erythematis so please remember that last two that is these are autoimmune diseases so anti streptolysin o antibody for rheumatic fever anti nuclear antibody is for systemic lupus erythematis question number 11 which of the following is a gram positive microorganism and the options are e coli Coronae bacterium diphtheriae, Neisseria and Salmonella. Now the answer is Coronae bacterium diphtheriae. Example of gram positive bacteria. We begin the microbiology with the bacteria are Staphylococcus, Streptococcus and Pneumococcus. Remember these three bacteria are the example of gram positive in which staphylo appears in cluster, strepto appears in chains, pneumo appears in pairs. Now mycobacterium tuberculosis, coronary bacterium diphtheriae and the clostridium. These are the three major 
bacteria again is an example of gram positive now the last anthrax causing agent that is bacillus anthracis is again an example of gram positive bacteria now gram negative bacteria e coli salmonella shigella and pseudomonas all these are causing diarrhea and uti remember in this way these are examples of gram negative again the vibrio cholerae again will causes diarrhea so these type of agents are gram negative bacteria now neisseria gonorrhoeae and trypanosoma pallidum these two are related to sexually transmitted diseases remember in this way this is an again example of gram negative bacteria then haemophilus bacteria again example of gram negative type question number 12 which of the following is a dna virus and the options are polio hepatitis b rubella and hiv and the answer is hepatitis b examples of dna viruses includes variola and varicella remember this way smallpox and chickenpox causing viruses pox pox are dna viruses now herpes simplex cytomegalo epstein barr viruses are again examples of dna viruses however the most important question is hepatitis b virus is an example of dna viruses examples of rna viruses polio virus german measles influenza are rna viruses rabies and dengue these are examples of rna viruses hepatitis a hepatitis c and the rota virus again rna viruses and the last is hiv is a rna virus thank you for staying with us stay tuned for every day for 15 minutes our channel is nerds horizon all the best